Hi guys, today I'm going to be working on this refrigerator, which basically never stops running. That's a telltale sign that the condenser coil is clogged, dusty, and dirty. So what I'll do is pull out the refrigerator, show you how to locate the condenser coil in the most effective way of cleaning it, and then by doing so we're going to increase the efficiency and save some money on electricity, but I'll also prolong the life of the fridge because it won't have to turn on and off as much to keep the contents cool. Let's get started. Let's quickly explain why and what we are doing. A simplified explanation is that a coolant or refrigerant passes through the piping in the fridge, cooling its contents. This refrigerant becomes hot, so to keep it cool, it passes through a condenser coil on the outside of the fridge. Air passes over this coil and cools the refrigerant inside the piping. If the condenser coils are dirty and dusty, they aren't able to dissipate and transfer the heat efficiently. So by cleaning these coils, we increase the efficiency of the fridge. I'll be using nylon brushes designed for dryer vent and fridge coil cleaning. These can be picked up at most local hardware stores or Amazon and I'll include links in the video description. I'll also be using a microfiber cloth and a vacuum. Start by removing the front toe kick. This one uses clips to stay in place and simply pops off. Yours may use screws instead of clips. The hot air passes through this grill so it's a good idea to clean any dust or hair buildup. With the toe kick removed, we can get a good look on how clogged these coils are. The dust and hair buildup make it very difficult for the coils to dissipate heat and reduce the efficiency of the fridge. If you don't see the coils, your model will most likely have them at the back of the fridge. There are wheels at the front of the fridge to help slide it out. Some models will have wheel locks or even feet that screw down to hold the fridge in place. This model doesn't have either of those options, but if yours does, unlock the wheels or lift the feet up. With the wheels free, roll out the fridge and unplug the unit. This model has a cardboard panel covering the back components. Once removed, you'll see a large amount of dust buildup on the compressor and fan. Before I start on the dust removal, I'm sliding out the drip tray to clean. This tray collects water from the fridge's defrost cycle. Vacuum away the dust buildup with a narrow vacuum attachment, then start with the brush. I personally leave the vacuum going while brushing to collect as much dust as possible.
With that quick cleaning, this fridge is going to run a lot more efficient and in turn save me money on my electricity bill. Now all that's left is to put everything back in the reverse order. Well guys, hopefully you found this video informative and I think it's a great project to handle on the weekend when you got 20 minutes or so. It will help prolong the life of your fridge and save you money in the long run. I do recommend doing this probably every six months or at least inspecting it every six months and maybe a bit more if you have pets. Thanks for watching and like always, liking, commenting, subscribing is always greatly appreciated. Till next time.